Alright, so this is part one to a video series I'm making about Shaco and how to play Shaco in the jungle, top and mid. Uh, this video is about Shaco's ability rundown. So, starting with his passive, Shaco deals 20% bonus damage when attacking from behind. This passive is a massive passive. It is extremely overpowered in my opinion. So, what happens with Shaco's passive is when you attack a minion or a monster from behind, I'll go do it on wolves because it's easier to get behind them and I know it'll work. You deal an additional 20% damage. So you're going to see when I attack this wolf from behind, I just deal 102 damage. And now when I attack him from the front, front, I'm only dealing 85. So now I'm missing out on quite a bit of damage on on the wolf camp, right? So if I was, say that was a champion, if I was attacking a champion, <clears throat> and I'm only dealing 80 damage to a champion versus 102, where I'm doing 17 extra damage just because I'm attacking them from behind, that 17 extra damage I'm doing per attack could easily spell the difference between a win or a loss in that fight. Now, or his Q. Shaco's Q is Deceive. Shaco teleports nearby and becomes invisible th for 3.5 seconds. His next basic attack within the next 6 seconds will critically strike, dealing 140% damage. Normal criti critical strikes deal 200% damage. So... This Q early game is an extremely important ability. Now, you don't max it first because you want to max your E for the burst damage that your E allows you, but your Q is an amazing utility for ganking. Now, I have 0% crit chance at level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4. Like I don't have any crit chance until I get my second item with, or third item actually with Shaco because my second item is always boots. So your Q, quick rundown. Awesome for ganking, Jump over, jumping over walls, getting behind champions, getting quick kills, like amazing. Amazing for escapes. Any, pretty well any wall that you can flash over, Shaco can Q over. So the ability to use a Q, a constant flash that comes back every 10 seconds, 6 seconds when it's max level, that's, that's just unstoppable. That's the reason I run Ignite when I'm jungling is because I can literally jump over pretty well any wall and have no issues with it. Even this from here to here, I'm able to jump over that, which even in flash, depending on where you are, won't jump over. From here to here, no problem. Here to here, no problem. Like, And like the best part is, as I said, it comes back every 10 seconds. Next box, the next ability is Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box is absolutely huge for a level 1 Chaco, also for your ganks. Uh, you can plant five boxes at blue, and your boxes will pretty well tank and take out the blue by itself. You only need to attack blue maybe three or four times before it dies because you can have boxes down. Uh, if you follow my runes and masteries in the next video, you can see that I can plant five boxes where most people who don't have the cooldown reduction that I have can only plant uh, four boxes. And just quickly show you how to gank using your boxes. So say that that... Siege can Canyon is, a, is an enemy champion, I would plant my box right there and then instantly attack him. And as he tries to run away, unless he flashes over my box, he's probably going to get feared by my box. Next ability is 2 Shiv Poison. So 2 Shiv Poison has a passive and an active. While 2 Shiv Poison is ready to cast, Shaco's basic attacks reduce the target's movement speed by 25% for 2 seconds. It also reduces minions and monsters' chance to hit by 27.5 seconds for two seconds. So every time I attack a champion, when I haven't used it, it reduces the champion's movement speed by 25%. Every time it does, it's it stacks. So it doesn't stack in the sense that my 25%, if I attack again, it becomes 30%. No, it stacks as the two seconds continually. Uh, the two seconds is continually there as long as I'm attacking the champion. So as long as I'm attacking him, his movement speed is constantly reduced by 25%. Now, his active, it deals 170 plus 17 plus 0 magic damage to a target enemy and reduces their movement speed by 25% for 3 seconds. So when I throw my shiv at someone, it deals an X amount of magic damage to that champion, depending on what your ability power is and what your attack damage is. And it slows them for 25% for 3 seconds. Now, the reason you don't want to immediately use your E in a fight is for when they flash. Because now all of a sudden you can't catch up to them to attack them, right? Because they flashed away and you queued in to get get the gank. 
Um, so as soon as they flash away is when you want to throw your, your two shift poison because now that it'll get that three second stun or three seconds slow on them. Sorry, not stun. Uh, versus the two second original slow. And your last ability, which I don't have mana for, is your hallucinate. Hallucinate creates a second clone. Shaco vanishes briefly and reappears with a clone that lasts up to 18 seconds. The clone deals 75% of Shaco's damage and receives 50% increased damage. On death, the clone detonates, dealing 300 plus zero magic damage to nearby enemies. So the reason this clone is amazing is because it deals so much damage. Dealing 75% of the damage that Shaco is dealing, that is a lot of damage that is being dealt between you and your clone. Uh, technically, you are dealing 175% damage now uh, compared to what you would normally be dealing uh, to enemy champions. Uh, minions, monsters, everything. Best thing about your clone is it's amazing for escapes. So, I'm going to just show you that I can solo dragon level 6 because of my clone. I can't do it without my clone, but as soon as I have my clone, I can easily solo dragon at level 6. So I plant the box, it attacks the box a few times, now it's going to attack me, I'm okay with that. I'd rather it attack me than my clone, then my clone get as much damage as humanly possible off. But now, I'm going to use my clone, I'm going to hold alt. Yeah. So, I had to wait until my clone came off of cooldown, so that's why there's a little break in the video, as he died do shortly after doing Dragon. <clears throat> One of the coolest things about Shaco is the fact that you can control him by holding the alt key. And you can see that I'm using him rather than myself. If I didn't have my blue buff and I was fighting someone and I was about to die, I could just stop, completely stop moving my guy and just move my clone. And the chances that someone attacks me versus my clone is kind of, I'd say 40%, especially in lower elos. Because usually you people who play champions that have clones don't know, don't really think about using their clone until they've they got some experience with that champion. So, if I was getting attacked, I'm about to die, I can always just run into this bush and walk my clone around. Obviously, clone's on cooldown still. Can't use it. I'll show you. Or, something I could also do is I could queue over this wall and ask my clone to run this, like, run in this direction. Now, the ch chance of enemy champions seeing me when I'm doing that is slim to none. And that is the rundown for Shaco's abilities. This is the long rundown. There's also going to be a short rundown. It's going to be video 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any if you have any suggestions on how I can make my videos better or how to play Shaco in the jungle or how you do, comment. I'll co I'll respond as soon as I can. I'm hope I hope this is helpful.